Hello and once again welcome to Policy Bazaar. I'm Arjun Bhagat. Now India faces a unique population scenario. It will have the largest population of citizens above the age of 65 by 2020. At the same time, the average life expectancy of Indians is also increasing. As we are aware, medical emergencies often result in severe financial crisis. Considering the phenomenal increase in healthcare costs today, unless one is covered under a comprehensive medical insurance policy, in this scenario, health insurance becomes crucial. But a number of health insurers are reticent about providing cover to senior citizens. Now, to know more about plans which help cover senior citizens, we have Yashish Dhaiya with us, co-founder and CEO of Policy Bazaar. Welcome to the show, Yashish. Now, tell me, why are health insurers reticent about taking on more senior citizens? Uh, it's uh, pretty obvious. Uh, as you get older, your chances of falling sick, your chances of having various diseases starts to increase. Uh, and uh, that is the primary reason because uh, obviously the cost comes associated with them uh, and uh, with those diseases and of course it doesn't make sense for uh, companies to provide it at least at the same cost or the same risk as for younger people. So if you took a 35 year old person and you took a 70 year old person, chances are the 70 year, uh, year old person will have more expenses during the year. Now this wasn't a problem until about 10 years ago when people were not used to uh, you know, I would almost classify as luxurious hospitals, which have become, and, and, and you know, once you see those, you don't want to stay in the old hospitals. And obviously, the, along with that comes the cost of the, that luxury. Now, uh, uh, the regulator has brought out a policy which says that the minimum entry age for every insurance company has to be at least 65 years. This has gone up from 60. This has gone up from 60. Now, uh, the important thing is that yes, you will get a policy, uh, as long as you're 65, as long as you're fit. Because if you fail the medical test, then there is still a chance that you would not get the policy. However, even if you are fit and you do get the policy, they do come attached with, with various attachments and loadings. Uh, and uh, you know, th th there, are, there are various restrictions. And uh, sometimes those restrictions are actually to the benefit of the uh, consumer, uh, specifically if you look at it as a society and not as an individual. Right. <laughs> so then how does one go uh, about finding the right, the right affordable medical insurance plan for a senior citizen? So see, uh, when you uh, look at the, the, the best thing to do is to search all the options. Uh, you know, you could go to any of the online portals and, and look at these. But let me, let me go through a bit of detail here. Uh, so most companies will allow you a policy up to about 65. There are a few companies uh, recently that allow you to take a policy any time in your life. Now let's start going into some of these examples of these policies just to you know get a clarification. So let's go into uh, Star Health. They have a policy called Red Carpet. You have an entry age any time between 60 to 69 you can join this policy. There are no medicals at all. So if you have a pre-existing disease you can get into this policy. After taking the policy within four months you can make a claim on a pre-existing disease. And this is the only policy in the market that allows you to do that. After uh, uh, 30 days, you can have any claim whatsoever. Within 30 days also, you can have an accidental claim, and that's, that's fine. The, the issue is it'll provide you a coverage of 1 lakh or 2 lakh rupees. So it's not something that's going to provide you a coverage of 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs. It'll give you that basic cover. Uh, it's a basic policy, and it can have a, a, a co-investment of up to 50%. Up to Mostly 20%, but up to 50%. When you say co-investment, what is that? Mean? So co-investment means when you go to the hospital, you also pay a part of the expense. This helps the society, this helps you. The reason it helps you is if you did not have that consideration at all, you would obviously go to the most expensive hospital even when you did not necessarily require that. And, and that's what a lot of people do when they have, uh, uh, but if you are gonna pay a part of it, then you would be a little more cautious. Even though that may be 10, 20%, but you would be a little more cautious. So if, our, if your expense was one lakh rupees and you're spending 10,000, you'd rather spend eight. And, and they just want that buy-in from uh, the person. That's the reason they don't have medicals, et cetera. Now, policies that come along this line of co-payment, most of the policies have co-payment. Most of the government policies, there's a policy called HOPE by Oriental Insurance. This has an entry age up to 80, and it actually has no maximum age at all. Neither does a Star Health one. So there is no maximum age, so you can, once you've taken the policy, you can have it for life. Uh, so it doesn't end at 69. Uh, the HOPE pl plan does the same. There's another one by United, uh, which uh, you know you can take up to 75. Uh, all of these have co-payments, so about 20% co-payment is attached to each one of them. 
and you have to see whether you uh, prefer that service or not. There are companies that do not have this co-payment option. So Apollo Munich, Religare Health, Max Bupa, all of these companies have options where you do not have co-payment and you will actually get the full cover, uh, the, fu the full refund. The uh, catch here is there will be a medical uh, uh, and you have to clear the medical. Now Apollo has a maximum entry age of uh, 60 years if you want to cover more than 2 lakhs and if you want to cover less than 2 lakhs, it's, it can go up to 65 years. But if you're above 65, it's very difficult to get inside an Apollo plan. You, you won't be able to, even if you're fit. Uh, a Max Bupa has something similar, I think 65 years. It's 65 years. But uh, if you're fit, you, you get in. And you know it's a lifelong renewal. Apollo is also lifelong renewal. Uh, you have Religare Health, which actually does not have any cap of uh, entry. So you can get in at any time. And uh, they provide free medical and they provide a medical checkup every year. So it's a good plan all the way. It provides coverages up to 60 lakhs. So you can get a cover up to 60 lakhs at any point, which is, I think 60 lakhs is too much. You don't need it. Uh, you can also uh, get, so if you have a heart, heart disease and you want to go to the US and get it cured, so you are allowed to get international coverage also in that. So that's a, that's a very unique one, uh, slightly for the higher uh, end individuals. So there are a lot of options. And Tata EIG has a plan, which allows you to buy in up to 75 years. Bajaj Allianz has a plan which allows you to buy in up to 70 years. Uh, there are co-payments in that, 10% or 20% depending on your condition. So in that, you may, ha you may go through a medical and you may have a condition. You may have a condition type 1, condition type so 2. So depending on that, they'll, they'll give you a certain amount of co-payment. They'll be assess you and they'll say, they'll okay, 10% or 20%. Co-payment, exactly. Uh, ICICI Lombard has a plan. Uh, I think they allow you up to about 70 years. Uh, they don't have co-payment. It's, it's, it's a cashless plan. So you have a lot of options out there, but you've got to do your research well uh, because it, it, it does take a lot of time to kind of you know put this research together, and I think uh, that's that's important that uh, you know one one uh, looks at all the options and then then takes one. So then, what does one have to be careful about? I mean, what are the do's and don'ts when you plan it? Because you have given us a lot of options. Um, you know, there is. I guess a little bit of a myth that there aren't options. I guess now the health insurance companies are coming up with those options because they see a huge market. Yeah. So see, you shouldn't do a few things. Uh, you should not buy any of the health come investment plans. Please avoid them. They are mostly around there to, you know. Health come investment plans. Investment plans. So can there you are, just define that very quickly? Uh, there are plans which will tell you, you keep investing in health and you know, you get, you get a three year health coverage and you'll pay a certain amount for the health coverage and you'll get most of your money back with some returns and a tax break. Right. Do not go for those. Those, those are the wrong kind of plans. So that's, that's, that's mostly mis-selling that's happening. Uh, I shouldn't say mis-selling because, okay, there may be a reason why somebody takes it. I haven't figured out that reason myself. Uh, but senior citizens are susceptible to those because they find it difficult to get health plans and somebody could sell them those. So they should not take those. I think when you look at options, be careful. What kind of coverage do you want? Be sure that disease will come. See, one day death has to come and one day before that there is likelihood of disease and it may happen more than once and it may happen for a long tenure. So be confident disease is going to come. So plan, so obviously take the coverage uh, unless you are a government employee and you have ECHS, etc. in which, you know, good for you. Uh, as you take these coverages, think about, are you ready to co-invest? What kind of cover do you want? Are you ready, you know, uh, are, you, are you fit or not fit? If you are fit, you go through the medical process and then you take a plan. If you're not fit, then you go for something like a Star Health, uh, where you go through the medical and you, know, you get uh, a low coverage, about 2 lakh rupees, but it's basic. And then, you know, try to, please try to take care of your health, obviously. Don't, 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 don't get sick, you know, obviously. So I think that is, those are the kind of things you look at. You look at, are you, are you fit right now? Are you not fit? Do you have a pre-existing disease or not? Basis that, you take one of the plans and you decide whether you want co-investment or do, do not want co-investment. If you, if you take the co-payment, sorry, co-payment, then you will have 10%, 20%, maybe even 50% co-payment and you will get better options, uh, but you will have to invest alongside. So clearly the health insurance companies are moving in the right direction, but uh, you know, our research tells us that they are simply pushing the, um, the, the age from 60 to 65. Are they really catering to the specific needs of senior citizens? See, uh, the fact is after 45, getting a health insurance plan starts becoming tough. So if you were below 45 and you wanted a 5 lakh rupee cover uh, for yourself and your, fam and your younger family, uh, younger to you, you would get it almost straight away. Without a medical, there'll be at least 10 options available to you. The moment you cross 45, people tend to become a bit cautious. 
uh, the, I'm talking about the insurance companies. Uh, they would ask you to go through a medical. Above 50, you will almost certainly be asked to go for a medical. And as you go to 60, 65, some disease does set in. Specifically, if you are, if you've had some ancestry or you know uh, uh, issue around one of the diseases, they they will set in by then. And hence, you would have a problem with the medicals. If you have a problem with the medicals, 70% of all health insurance costs in the world are because of uh, diseases which recur and you know you pay every year. So obviously the insurance companies are careful. They also understand that that's what 70% of the cost is about. And people are, as we are having more and more options through private companies, companies are also smarter. They are identifying which are the higher risks, etc. IRDA has now brought out a rule which says you cannot uh, uh, charge higher to a person basis age. You can charge basis his health condition, but you cannot charge basis age. However, all the tables do have age uh, factored into them. And uh, it is, it is, there, is, there is a higher risk associated, and I think the regulator should also estimate that. Maybe they should provide uh, tables for the entire country uh, basis that. You know, you'd mentioned about buying uh, individual policies. Now, can you elaborate on that a little bit more? Okay, so uh, there is this thing, should senior citizens go for family floater plans? or attach them to younger members of the family or not. My advice is up to the age of 45, 50, it is OK to attach with uh, younger members of your family, which is you know, your, your nuclear family. But I would not advise a 50 plus person to start attaching with younger members of the family. Because as disease sets in, or as your age increases, your premium amounts will start shooting up. And as those premium amounts shoot up, they would shoot up for the entire family. They would not just shoot up for you. So the presence of one member having a high risk or two members having high risk would essentially increase uh, the cost of the entire family floater plan, which is not essential. Uh, see, by the time your kids are uh, 45, you might be 70. And you're in very different situations in terms of your risk profile. And the way the insurance companies price it they price it based on the highest risk profile or the, or the oldest individual or the most uh, likely to need medical help uh, individual. And uh, that is why combining the plan only makes sense when you have a homogeneous group. So people about the same age with maybe children. Uh, it does not make sense when you have people with very different ages. So if you have a family where the grandfather is 85, the, you know, there are these plans that you, know, you can put together 15, 17 members of the family. They do not work. Essentially, what happens is your entire plan gets priced up to the oldest member of the family. And uh, it becomes a little more expensive than otherwise. Thanks, Yashish. Now it's time for a short break. After the break, uh, we'll take your questions. So do write to us at ask.policybazaar.com or Facebook slash Policy Bazaar India. And on Twitter, you can write to us at policybazaar underscore in. And uh, we'll see you shortly after the break. Mm -hmm.